is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Jake Kramer cheered. He says, "Blink twice if you need rescue." Obviously, you've been you've been my captive Yo. since February, right? It's what true. I did is I, I had a laugh. She's wow. been tied up in my house since then. Obviously, yep. she's not actually a willing you know resident here in the house. I don't know what's going on outside. I'm hearing many trucks, yet trash day was yesterday. So I don't know what all this beeping and bleeping is out there. It's fucking annoying. I'm gonna see what it is, hold on. It's not garbage people, it's someone who rented a, a van, one of those budget rent-a-vans or whatever. So I don't know if someone's moving in or moving out. I have no idea, but there's a stupid van here. <laughs> I'd like to say thanks again to anyone who was here for my sponsored stream on Tuesday night. It went down without a hitch, it went down really well. <laughs> oh my god. Despite the fact that idiots are still trying to, like, spam Ubisoft, it, it, it's just stupidity at this point. They're completely spinning their wheels and wasting their time um, saying negative stuff about me that's not true. I got another one today, another tweet. Phil is a racist. Phil is a, a, a homophobe. Like, what? Where is there any evidence? <laughs> I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. <laughs> I didn't even see... Oh! Oh, God. Ugh. Sorry, I'm 100% straight. That shit is like, ugh, creeps me out. Yes. All the fags and women who've tuned in this long, you'll love this one. Look at the disgustingly hairy back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, 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 you know, there's none. It's just so stupid. These people are fucking idiots. Yep, I'm toxic. But it went down fine. You know, that was great. Uh, you know, already people have said, am I doing another sponsored stream anytime soon? And probably not. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Um, let's now do the plugs segment of the stream where I do some shameless shilling. Give me your money. Give me money, money. Give me, give me, give me. You know, after six hours, basically, I like Blackout. I think it's fun. I'm going to keep playing Blackout mode as my go-to Battle Royale game. And I think the standard multiplayer of the game is fucking horrendous. I think it's made for kids and for pro streamers like the Optic and Phase teams to basically kiss the game's ass and say that it's great as they pull off the most broken, stupid, overpowered nonsense in a row, in a row to make the game look flashy. When in reality, the game at a competitive level is a piece of fucking dog turd. And it really is not even at its core a, a real first person shooter. Why am I toxic? And now I'm becoming more and more just about having fun and relaxing with you guys and enjoying games at face value rather than being the guy that has to be the controversial guy who rips a, a new game, a new asshole, or talks about this controversial topic and goes on a rant, okay? It's called improvement. It's called self-improvement, okay? Um, it's made just to be abusing killstreaks, abusing gimmicks, and not being very fun in regards to actually just wanting to play a first-person shooter. 
That's my opinion on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Multiplayer is shit, but Blackout is pretty much the best Battle Royale on the market. So they've got quite a unique product here. Um, what a mix, right? So that being said, um, will there be more Call of Duty soon? Um, yes. This week coming up, I'm probably going to be doing more Blackout at least one to two times as a nighttime stream. I think it's a great nighttime stream for two hours just playing Blackout, chilling, you know, trying to learn the guns and run around in the Battle Royale aspect thing. It's pretty good. But... I don't think that it's something that I want to do as any extended, like, four-plus-hour streams of, being honest. I don't think it warrants it. I just don't think it's very good, you know? I'm just being honest here. Um, I, I, I don't... I really have no desire to even play the multiplayer again. I played three-plus three, three plus hours of the multiplayer in the beta. I played two hours of the final retail multiplayer today, and I don't... If I never play it ever again, I would not be sad. It's just a piece of shit. But don't worry. The same people who have to rely on... Playing Call of Duty professionally to make a living will tell you it's the best Call of Duty so far because that's what they do. They shill. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, uh, you know, been more successful or things like that. Welcome to the dab side. Charity says, why are those games kitty compared to, like, you playing Spyro in kids' games? Well, here's the thing. Uh, Call of Duty, at one point, was not a kids' game whatsoever. It was a game very much decide, uh, designed for adults and or people who wanted to invest time and effort into the game to learn at a competitive level how to be good at first-person shooters. Reactionary gameplay, better aiming skills, knowing the ins and outs of the good spots to do things on the map. Um... And then it degraded into, oh, we need kill streaks, we need drones, we need to throw fucking giant things and electrocute people, and we need to run out here with fucking, you know, choppers coming in and shit. And literally the whole game has degraded itself into that flashy shit, so that kids will watch it on streams and then go want it themselves. That's all Call of Duty has degraded into. Um, you know, a game that's made just to look pretty and build stream hype so people will watch it on a stream and want to go buy it for themselves. And the competitive nature of the game is basically a pile of drivel. Um, Spyro is a game designed for younger audiences. Now, older audiences can enjoy it, but at its core, it was designed to be an easier style platforming game so that it doesn't take a lot of time and effort to get through it, unless you're doing a completionist run, right? Um, it was designed for that. Call of Duty was not. Call of Duty was not always designed to be this crappy, diluted game. Um, it was meant to be competitive, and then they changed it over the years to make money to shill and make money to children. Um, and that's not what I support. You know, this is a shame that the franchise has turned into this crap. I guess, when I say kitty, I don't mean, oh, let low challenge. I mean a game that's flashy for children. That's what I mean. Like, for example, Street Fighter V is the perfect example of that. Street Fighter V by far has the best graphics of any Street Fighter game ever. It's a very flashy looking game, but the game plays like shit because it's meant to be played by, by people who aren't good at fighting games, and that's why the game sucks. Same thing with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's the same deal. It's a game meant to be played by the masses by just, oh my god, I got lucky and I got two, three random kills. Now I get a kill streak. Oh look, the kill streak leads to five more kills. Now I can summon a fucking Hellfire missile. Oh look, three more kills. Now I can summon the attack chopper. Oh my god, ten more kills. And we steamrolled the team and it was amazing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's what I mean. It's like a um, low attention span style game. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just, oh my god, flashy something here. Flashy something here. Flashy. It reminds me of Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, the Marvel vs. Capcom series traditionally you know, had longevity only because the game was flashy at a tournament level. For example, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, at a tournament level, the game was awful. People would outright tell you, we hate this game on a competitive level. It's, it really is not a good, fun game to play, but it's a really fun game to watch, and therefore, streams would have tons of viewers on it, and people would run out and buy the game in droves because it looked flashy. And that's exactly what's happened with Call of Duty. So when I say kitty games, I don't mean, oh, it's a game that, you know, for the kitties and it's bad to make easy games. I don't mean that at all. I mean, it's a game that at one point was at a higher level and was degraded down to be flashy so that children will watch it on streams and want to go buy it themselves. That's what I mean when I say that. I don't know a way to effectively say that in a short way and manner, okay? Excuse me, guys. I was disgusting and unprofessional. Colonel Napalm cheered, 100 bits, he's the cheerleader for tonight, he says, These publishers giving certain streamers early accessibility to play games is bullshit, they get to rack up artificial views, and the publishers get to control the narrative because the early streamers shill for them, super lame and corrupt. Dude, all you gotta do right now, if you want evidence of this, here's what you do, are you ready? Go on Twitter, and search for Phase or Optic. That's all you have to search for. Every fucking person on those teams has been playing the game all week long and has been shilling the game constantly. My mouth is full of salt. I have a healthy brain. 
And the funny part about it is they all say the game is the best game ever. But they say this about every fucking game that they play. If you just follow their social medias, it's exactly the same. Every new release they play, this is the best game I've ever played. This is amazing. Thank you so much to so-and-so dev team for making amazing game. And then, okay, best game ever, right? Then the next one comes out, oh, this is the best game ever. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you actually, like, give me facts on why the game's good or are you just going to keep shilling? But that's what it is, like, all week. All they've been doing is shilling, 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 shilling. It's gross. I'm happy that I can play objectively and I don't rely on that paycheck. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine having that life of just being a fucking paid shill your whole life? I mean, what the fuck, man? That would kill me. And I love it. I love doing this for a living. I would want to, I would want to, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Every once in a while, I couldn't do it full time. There's no way, man. You know, back in high school. I was on a cocktail of medications. I mean, real talk, when I was in high school at one point, I was to the point where I, I was losing it. I wanted to either go do something drastic or, you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was like obsessed with for a while. Man, I'm trapped in this life. And if I actually wanted to do something different with my life, I can't anymore. Because of the life decisions that I've made, I'm now stuck in this pattern. That's your fault. That's the other thing too, like I was playing Call of Duty earlier today and not to say that it was like super slow, but like this is supposed to be the hyped release, but you know, people are, are barely watching it and they're like barely contributing and I'm like, it's, a, it's all it used to be. It used to be a new FPS would come out, everyone would get excited, everyone would want to see it, right? Now it's like everyone just goes to watch the shills. <laughs> and then everyone else is like, what the fuck is this stupid game? It's the same game again. Or it's even worse than last year. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Hodor Tark says, I remember Justin Wong shilling Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh my god. Dude, I said from day one. Now, that, that is one no one can ever give me shit for. I said from day one, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was a piece of fucking shit. I played it for like, like a day. And I was like, I can tell this game is really bad. But I played it and I was one of the best. I actually was ranked top 100 for about a week in the game when it was brand new and everyone was playing the fuck out of it. And then they, everyone just dumped the game and dropped it after a few months. And I was like, see? <laughs> the game is a piece of shit, but... But everyone shilled it. It was the best game ever for about, you know, three weeks to a month. <laughs> wow, this is the best game ever. Uh, TM52 Twitch, I have no idea what you just said. He said, what do you think about the market of games? I don't know what that means. You mean to say market? Oh. Marketing, marketing of games is fine. You want to market your game. But I disagree with anyone getting a game early and being able to do streams of it to get back in thousands of views and thousands of dollars for themselves. I disagree with paid shill streams that where you can't be honest or all you do is kiss a game's fucking ass. Like, I did a stream earlier this week of Assassin's Creed Odyssey that I got paid for. Did I kiss the game's ass? Yes. No. I just played the game honestly and was very honest in the commentary and... Fuck you. You're a liar. He's a piece of crap. <laughs> He's a lying piece of crap. Well, luckily the game didn't have any issues. It wasn't like it crashed or anything. But if it did, I would have called it out. And I was able to do that. It's not, oh... My, I'm in phase and optic clan, so for the whole fucking week that Black Ops 4 is out, I get to play it early and I get to make thousands of dollars kissing the game's fucking ass. I say it's good when in reality it's a piece of fucking stinky dog shit. But, you know, tell everyone it's good so everyone will go out and buy it so that we can all make more money, right? It's just a gross fucking practice. Would I be okay with my face on a mug or shirt? I don't know what you're talking about. That's not allowed. You can't sell merch with my face on it. That's completely illegal. I retain rights to my own likeness. You can't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, TM52 Twitch, yeah, absolutely. That kind of marketing is, is going to become more and more apparent and more and more rampant. And it's up to the viewer to understand when they're watching a paid advertisement or if they're actually watching something that's legit, you know? And sadly, a viewer can't discern anymore. All week, all these streams that have been out from these guys, these clans, have all been paid advertisements, but people are too fucking stupid to realize that. Oh, this is great, I gotta go play this game, it's the best game ever. Like, what? It's actually terrible. But, you know, don't think for yourself, just believe what you're told by some fucking clan member who's gonna make the next entire year all the money he ever makes will be on this piece of shit game. Whatever. You show your toxic jealousy and just how petty you fucking are when you react to something like that. Got him! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! So Clout God's now gonna send me a thousand dollars because he said if I won a match tonight, he was gonna send me a thousand dollars. Number one, baby. Launch night victory. Very nice. Yeah, what happened to Clout God, who said that he would pay me $1,000 if I won a match tonight? Gee, what happened? Oh, he showed his true colors and got banned? Of course he did. Of course he did. He's a piece of crap. <laughs> He's a lying piece of crap. Fred Flintstone Chitty said, Clout God, 
B B T F O. Victory on the first day. Nice. Whoa, I just got an anonymous $100 tip. It's a good win, Phil. I don't have $1,000 to spend, but here's a little something for a launch night win. Also, that rooftop kill was great. Whoa, you mean when I jumped across the rooftops and shot the guy in the face during the jump? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Thank you to this anonymous tipper. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, whoever the hell to me that hundred dollars is much appreciated it's gonna help out big time so thank you that's awesome stuff i can't wait i'm having so much fun now really seriously and i cannot wait for more this is cool because i'm getting that positive that positive vibe that i had for most of 2017 i'm getting it back now but now i'm getting that groove back getting that vibe back i'm ready for fun stuff i hope you guys are ready to burn in hell burnell and now i'm gonna burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it you can't change who you are, I guess. Hell is a place where it's very hot. There's, you know, it's torturous conditions. Fire, hail, brimstone. Uh, you know, your, your body is being ripped apart by demons who are shoving red hot pokers up your rectum. Not a nice place. Okay. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar, Phil's a racist, Phil's a scammer. DSP's a pedophile, DSP is a thief, DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.